Hi family, it is always great to be back with you as I continue now. This will be day number six with our birthday celebration or more just a celebration of, of God's love and, and just his amazing goodness. I am thinking maybe somebody is going to say, look, she got a run out of things to say before she gets to the end of the month. And I don't mind if somebody take, take that up as a bet and bet me that. You could probably bet me a few thousand dollars because I will be a few thousand dollars which are at the end of the month. <laughs> Although you don't go in bets so. though. All right. So uh, back to the, the celebrating God's peace. And my talking about celebrating God's peace is not something that I know cooking up to talk about. I've actually written about it here in the publication. There's a letter, prayer letter number um, seven. I can't, can't remember now. But I know it's called, it's called Grounded. And um, actually, it is number 17. Oh, my goodness. You know, Ish, catching up with you. Yes, yeah, called Grounded. So I'm going to share what I said about the effect, the effect of the peace of God. So a little lead up in terms of the prose that leads into the, po the, the, the poem. So I say here, what is inside of us is manifested outwardly. Our thoughts determine the extent we can bask in the tranquility of God's love in full assurance that it, there is a mighty power at work in us, a power which always works all things out for our best good. The plans God has for us are good plans, Plans to prosper us and not to do us harm. Jeremiah 29, 11, you're familiar with that. It's probably is your favorite text. It is mine too. So I say, should we dare to fling ourselves, body, soul, and spirit on the bedrock of that unassailable truth? We would find, we would find that peace which passes all understanding. Such a peace the world cannot give, neither can it take it away. Can, can you say that you are experiencing that peace in your life right now? I hope so. How would a person passing through a valley leaning hard on, her, on the love of her soul feel? In that inner and hidden world of our deepest psyche, in the dark, cavernous recesses of the mind, the hand of God steadies and calms until Motion ceases and an unsurpassed peace prevails for indeed. I hear now, I go with the poem. Inside of me is like a calm, ripple lake lying still in the twilight hour. Inside of me is a burst of net fireworks, sparks of ecstasy igniting my whole being. Inside of me, is like a feather floating effortlessly drifting down, wafted by the wind's gentle breath. Inside of me is a sparkling jewel, each twist catching and reflecting the sun's rays. That is S-O-N. Inside of me is like a river flowing in the midst of a desert. A tall, towering tree, majestic in its might, facing the wind, unmoved. Inside of me is a valley whose verdure is lush and green. Its trees are laden with fruit. Inside of me is a spring, bubbling and buoyant, bursting its banks in sheer excitement. Inside of me sits a little girl snuggled in her father's lap, peaceful, serene, asleep. Inside of me, an impregnable fortress stands whose thick walls, I saw something there, yes, whose thick walls are a shield. Inside of me rises an altar at whose base I kneel, worshipping, loving, adoring the one who lives inside of me. And the stimulus for that poem is 1 Corinthians 6, 19 and John 14, 23. Indeed, the peace of God is really incredible. 
it's supernatural so you can't fake it <laughs> you can't duplicate it God gives us his peace and it is a peace that yes as the word said the world cannot give as the word of God says the world cannot give it and the world cannot take it away God bless you family and I pray with all my heart that in your life circumstances whatever is happening what even whatever will maybe happen later that you will always have the peace of God with you he'll keep you calm okay bye-bye I'll see you the next time